Storm Tracker 2 Digital Meteorologist Bobby Corser with you here in the Storm Tracker 2 Weather Center. We want to talk snow. Now, I'm just going to let you know, no snow in the lowlands here in the next 10 days. But now that we've gone through Thanksgiving and we hope you guys had a great day, Black Friday is come and gone. Hope you guys got to get out and spend some money yesterday. And of course, we're all looking forward to Monday and Cyber Monday when we all sit at work and pretend to work and we uh, buy a bunch of stuff online. But growing up in the Northwest, as I did here in Portland, I know a lot of us kind of start thinking about, well, is it going to snow in Portland? When can we see snow in Portland? Well, there actually is not an official season, but because we have records that date back over 100 years, we can see that there is a range where snow would likely to fall, and I want to kind of share that today on our in-depth weather video. Now, we have two areas in Portland where official records are kept. We have one out at the airport. That started in 1940, and then recently those records were shifted just a few miles east to the National Weather Service office in Park Rose. And then downtown, the downtown records have been kept since 1871. So a really long time. It's really cool to see and have that much data available. That stuff is taken currently at KGW or Channel 8. They're the ones responsible for updating any precipitation that falls, any rain or snow, and then uh, the high and low for the day, and any significant weather. Uh, the fine folks over at KGW report that to the National Weather Service, and that is our Portland record. Well, let's dive into when we have seen snow the earliest. The earliest that we have ever seen snow in downtown Portland first was October 29th, 1935. So month of October, toward the end, just before Halloween, there was a trace of snow. Now, it's not a lot. It's under a tenth of an inch. Uh, very light dusting, but that's a trace. So that's the earliest on the calendar we've seen. Now, significant snow, and I would argue significant snow, in the Pacific Northwest is an inch or more because we know how the city likes to shut down with just snowflakes in the air. But an inch of snow fell on the ground November 10th, 1911. So imagine that. Early November snowstorm, pretty cool. Now, remember, 19, or remember November 11th, that date, because we fast forward now 44 years out to the airport. That is the earliest that they have seen a trace or an inch of more. It was November 11th, 1955. And again, those records go back to 1940. So pretty significant to see an inch again, early season snowstorm. Well, how about the latest? What's on the back end of this? Same type of thing. Downtown Portland, a trace, April 11th, 2022. Pretty late in that winter season. And we're already into spring meteorologically and calendar wise once we hit April. So to see that pretty late, Early is cold snap. I remember that day very, very vividly. And again, we're seeing that for the airport as well. So the Tracer Moore, April 11th, 2022, downtown. An inch or more, April 11th, 22. And then the next day, we had a trace of snow out at the airport. So that officially is our latest date of seeing measurable snowfall in the Portland area. So we span from October 29th through April 12th. That would be your unofficial Portland snowfall season. Pretty cool. October, November, January. So October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months. Now, does it happen all the time? No. And honestly, looking back at records, and we have them printed out here for the airport and downtown, most of our snows that do end up falling in our big events are usually done by February or early March. So to go as late as April 12th, pretty, pretty impressive. Now, what about record snowfall? Because we talk about this all the time. Now, I'm going to look at four locations, airport and downtown for sure, but then I want to see Eugene and Salem. They are record-keeping stations as well. So these are all-time, 24-hour period snowfall records according to the National Weather Service. The airport PDX 14.4 inches, January 21st, 1943. The same day in downtown, 15.5 inches, January 21st, 1943. And excuse me, I'm a little horse getting over a cold, but <clears throat> this is something that we have looked at a long time. Now, that January storm was a three-day event, and I believe the 21st, was either the first or second day of a three-day event where they saw significant amounts of snow. Uh, you can go back and dig through the history 
of Portland snowstorms, and this is near the top, if not the top, where it got close to about 30 inches of actual snow that fell in that three-day period. So the downtown 15.5, I'm going to put with an asterisk just in my notes that it might be a little bit more just based on the total snowfall for that three-day period, but they said single day 15.5. Salem's 25 inches that we see here, February 1st, 1937. I believe that is a state record for the Willamette Valley. I want to let me revise that. It's a record for the Willamette Valley, but it's not a state record. The state record, I believe, is still up at Bonneville Dam in the Columbia River Gorge, where they saw somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three, maybe even four feet of snowfall. Um, in one swoop, one storm. I need to go back and double check that. But for this purposes, I want to talk about the valley. So Salem, 25 inches, that is a record for the Willamette Valley. Really cool, 1937, February 1st. Eugene, not to be outdone, 22.9 inches, January 25th and 26th, 1969. Again, that hyphen is in there because it was a snowstorm that kind of hit midday and then went through over midnight and then ended up kind of at the same time it started. So that's the 24 hour period. Pretty awesome to see that. And those of you that are familiar or even not familiar with the topography of the Willamette Valley, it slopes from south to north. So Eugene sits above about 500 feet elevation at the airport. And of course, Portland is pretty close to sea level where the Willamette River joins the Columbia and then makes its way out to the Pacific Ocean. So to have snow in the Willamette Valley, you really need some really deep Arctic air to kind of get stuck and jammed up against the Cascades and the mountains on the south side of Eugene. And that just doesn't happen a lot. Eugene snowfall records, you know, they go back, uh, let's see here. Eugene snowfall records were kept starting in 1892. So again, long record period. Um, and most of their snowfall events do happen with early season snows. Like it doesn't happen a lot, but most of their snowstorms, and again, I'm looking at just, you know, snowiest days in Eugene. And they haven't had, the most they, they've had, like I said, is a 22.9. The next snowiest day is 10 inches, 10.7, and that was in 1916. So you occasionally get snowy storms, but, you know, when you look at the top five greatest snowfall events, it's 22.9, two storms that both had 10 inches, and then eight. 0.2 and then 5 inches. So snow in Eugene is relatively rare. Records in Salem, same thing, go back to 1892. You're more likely to have a bigger event kind of in Salem than you are Eugene. Again, lower, but lower elevation, but you do get Arctic air that does make its way that far south into the valley. Salem, 25. A storm uh, in 1919, 17.5. And then 1930, 11 inches in Salem. And then again, it tapers off again to 8.5 and, and 6.1. So snowfall if you're gonna go big, you're gonna go big. But most snowstorms in the Willamette Valley, you're gonna see anywhere between an inch to about eight inches. That's kind of the cool zone, or you could say the, you know, the most likely to happen, which is fascinating for a maritime climate where we just don't get a lot of cold air in here. Um, some of you have may maybe seen the graphics where you look decade by decade and you know, the 20s, 30s, and the 40s were very snowy in Portland, and then it's kind of calmed down once we got into the 80s and the 90s, early 2000s, but it's actually starting to ramp back up. So we'll see if that was just a little bit warmer period, and now we're starting to cool off. Time will tell. But what about things that create snow here? This is my favorite classic Portland snow setup. You get area east of the Cascades that is under uh, airs freezing. You get that east wind blowing down through the Columbia River Gorge. You get an area of overrunning precipitation, and boom. That's your classic Portland snow setup. This time of year, we're looking for that. We don't see that right now, but it's something that we are looking at, you know, kind of once, twice a day, every model run that comes out, just to see if this opportunity exists. Right now, it does not. <coughs> Again, excuse me, guys, I apologize. Take a look at our seven-day. Unfortunately... Doesn't look like there's any snow in the next 10 days. And that's even for the Cascades. That's really sad. We need to start building that snowpack. I know our friends up at the ski resorts really, really, really want to open, but they got to get a lot more snow for that to happen. So Saturday, tomorrow will be breezy. High temperatures right near normal, right about 40 degrees. Not going to change a lot. You see the low there, 49 degrees. 
it'll be pretty stagnant temperature wise. Cool off a little bit Sunday and Monday. Partly cloudy skies on Sunday and Monday. Cloudy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Temperatures again right around normal. Highs and lows very average happening right now. Not a whole lot to speak of weather wise, which is great. Uh, the east wind really kind of kicked up uh, Friday afternoon into Saturday morning. But other than that, it's kind of it. So not a whole lot. But a reminder, if you're out and about, make sure you download the Storm Tracker 2 weather app available in the Google Play, in the Android Store, and also in the Apple Store. Take it with you no matter where you go. It's great. Uh, you can use it. Just keep it on your phone. It will alert you to your area if there are any watches or warnings issued. Of course, you'll always have the latest forecast from Dave, Rhonda, and myself in there. We appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great weekend, and we will talk with you all next week.